What is up, everybody? This is your boy, It's Nefarious, and I am here with another edition of the Premier Madden League Fantasy Football Report. This is going to be our Week 8 report, or Week 9. I gotta look back. I think this is actually Week 9. Um, we're gonna dive right into it. You know how we do it uh, with the uh, with the Fantasy Report. Uh, we're gonna start with our pick'em results. Um, here we go. We got Byrne, uh, who took the win this week with 196.46. So a great win for Byrne. Uh, gets those two attribute points to uh, whatever two players that he wants to use it on. I came in second with 182. Uh, Polar, the Bengals user, came in third with 173. Fallen, uh, who's been winning a lot recently, came in fourth with 148. Uh, Key, the Chargers user, had 109. And also Bacon, uh, the Jets user, also had 109. Um, so congratulations to Byrne uh, on getting the win this week. I mean, it's an easy two points. Uh, anybody in the Premier Madden League that wants to play, um, just hit my DMs. We could uh, talk about getting you involved. But it's it's an easy two points if you if you win the week. I mean, it takes two minutes to put a, a list together, and you know, then you get two points. And I mean, as long as you win, you get to you get the two points. So I don't I don't get why more people don't do it. Maybe it's just they don't feel like it's worth it. But I mean, every list I put together really really takes two seconds. Um, we're gonna dump, jump right into the uh, pick 'em winner. We'll take a look at Burns' team here. Um, he had Josh Rosen at quarterback, had a, uh, three points, not a good game from Josh Rosen. Then he had Tariq Cohen, who had 37 points, so a great game by him. Uh, Saquon Barkley with 24. Uh, Jakeem Grant had 15. Odell Beckham had 16, which are two low scores, um, based on the two guys. They're usually in the low 20s. Um, it's a surprise that they're actually under 20. Uh, then you got Noah Fount. Um, the tight end at the uh, over the over there in Denver, uh, for the Denver Broncos. Noah Font is on fire recently, and he had a huge week this week with thirty nine point two points. Uh, very good game from him, and uh, that's basically where the win came from. Burn. I mean, when you get a tight end, uh, tight ends usually get. 15 to 25 points max. Uh, you get a tight end that has almost 40 points. That's going to be a, a huge win for you. Um, then you got Melvin Gordon, who uh, was his flex with 20.8 points. Eddie Pinheiro, who had 8. And then the Chicago Bears defense, who had 32 points. So another good week from the Chicago Bears defense. Um, we're going to dive right into the team of the week. First, we got Tom Brady. Um my boy DJX over in New England finally did him right. Uh, he had 38, uh, 383 yards passing, uh, three touchdowns, five uh, five yard rushing touchdown, which gave him 33.82 points for the week. So a good week from him. Um, then you got Tariq Cohen, who was the running back of the week, 239 rushing yards two uh, rushing touchdowns, one reception for five yards, and he had a total of 37.4 points. Um, as you saw before, uh, another good, good week from him. He, he lives in th uh, the 30 range when it comes to points week to week. It's crazy. Tariq Cohen is just on fire. Um, we're going to take a look at the wide receiver of the week, and just like the quarterback from of the week, it comes out of New England with Philip Dorsett. Uh, he had five receptions, 146 yards, and two receiving touchdowns for a total of 31.6 points. So a nice week over there in New England. Um, good high, uh, high end uh, offensive performance. Um, hasn't been that way throughout the whole season. Uh, good to see that he finally woke up a bit. Hopefully, it's uh, a sign for things to come. Um, and then you guessed it, the tight end of the week is going to be uh, Noah Font over in Denver. He had six receptions, 152 yards, three receiving touchdowns, and 39.2 uh, points. And he's actually got the high of the, uh, the week. He is the player of the week, uh, Noah Font. So good uh, job over there by Fallen, uh, getting Noah Font involved in his offense. 
um, and congrats on the uh, the player of the week. We'll take a look at the defensive uh, team of the week, and it wasn't the Chicago Bears. Even though they got 32 points, it actually went to the Washington Redskins, who only allowed, uh, allowed 17 points, uh, had six sacks, five takeaways, and three defensive touchdowns. The three defensive touchdowns are obviously huge. That's usually what uh, edges somebody over somebody else when it comes to uh, the defensive uh, team of the week. It, it's pretty much the same thing with any other positions. The touchdowns are uh, your big points. So uh, great week over Washington uh, getting the three defensive touchdowns and they uh, take home the team of the week. Um, that's pretty much going to do it for the uh, fantasy report this week. Uh, hopefully I could get next week's uh, fantasy report out uh, this weekend. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm so far behind on content, as you know. Um, we're already through the season and I'm um, uh, really behind. So hopefully I could catch up. Uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you continue tuning in to the series. And it's been a pleasure um, bringing the content to you guys. I'm out.